you guys a little whole ski. <laughs> Do you want to start over? Yeah, I'll start over. Okay. What's going on, guys? Stanley by Carly here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're driving to Tampa. I'm going to go to a couple thrift stores. I'm going to show you guys what I'm picking up. Hopefully, find some pants. I'm going to go through some active wear. Dalton meet up with Ethan. They're going to go through all the shoes. They're going to take forever doing a draft. And I just want to get home as soon as possible. But I'm, I'm here. I'm going to find some good stuff. I don't even have to say anything. We're going thrifting in Tampa. <laughs> Hi, I didn't film very much in the thrift store, but actually, okay, I didn't film in the thrift store, but I did get a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna do a haul later. We're gonna go shipping first. Dalton found a lot of shoes. Hi, vlog. What's your favorite pair you found? That's a good question. These. Is that just because they're on top? Yeah. <laughs> the dad sandals? Yeah, the dad sandals. I found a whole set of false graph plates, the Yorktown set. Each stack was $5.99, but white tags were half off today, so each stack was $3. I found so much of it. And then there's like more back there. Also, the other day we went to Goodwill in Mount Dora, and I found a wicker shelf that I'm really excited about that's going in the booth, so I wanted to show it to you. Look at that. Bestie, bestie. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, but anyway, this is the wicker shelf. It is headed to the booth. It's so cute. It has a little cabinet down here. Um, I thrifted this at a Goodwill. This is also headed to the booth. And then I found another one of those. Um, Robert Ferber, 12 Months of Flowers. Those do pretty well in the booth. Um, it was 75% off of the 30. And then I have some more magazine racks to bring. We're headed to go do our shipping for the day. We were in Tampa for a while. It's like 4 p.m. I am shipping four Poshmark packages today. We just did a lot of shipping yesterday from the long weekend, but I'm shipping four Poshmark packages today. Three of them are actually bundles, which is super exciting. And I also really wanted to shout out Aubrey if you're watching my videos. Thank you for continually supporting my Poshmark closet. I really appreciate it. How many are you shipping? 12. 12. Well, Poshmark Andy Bay? 14 if you include my shoe trees. Shoe trees? Shoe trees. Buy where, my shoe trees. Where can they get shoe trees? Oh, you're so sweet. Go ahead. Dealingwithdalton.com. That'll be $25. <laughs> Only if it converts. <laughs> Look how many shelves are in here. Dalton expanded his inventory. We expanded, baby. Mine's kind of expanding over here. I filled up this shelf and it's it's moving on over to this one. The plan is to get rid of this rack since technically this stuff will fit in the boxes and put a table here so I can like ship there instead of like on that little shelf. I had a new to me brand sell and it sold super fast so i wanted to share it with you it's called fleo and i found a bunch of leggings at the thrift store like a bunch of different colors of them and i briefly looked it up on poshmark and comps were pretty good so i picked it up and these sold within like a few weeks of listing so brand is fleo keep an eye out for it all done all done. Yeah, but I still gotta put this inventory away. All right, it is the next day. I wanted to show you everything I got at the thrift store yesterday. Um, it is a lot of pants per usual, so I'm gonna get to those last. I'll show you like the other things first. I ended up finding this, Le, I don't know how to say this word, Le Crisset lid. Um, this is very expensive pots and pans. Um, their sets are very expensive. So I only found the lid. Unfortunately, I was looking for the bottom of it, but I could only find the lid. And it was six dollars but i looked this up and the replacement lids actually sell pretty decently on ebay for like thirty dollars so i am excited to get this one listed on ebay i'm a little nervous about shipping it but i think that this will do well on ebay i also picked up this pyrex dish i was excited to find it, it was only 2.99 i think this is one of the more common patterns i think i see this one a lot more common but it was only $2.99 and I'm excited to stick it in the booth. I also grabbed this false graph pitcher, which I showed you all the stuff in the car. Um, this was kind of part of that set, but it was kind of separate. So this one was priced separately. It was $5, but it was half off. So it was $2.50. I've been slowly like collecting the entire set. So like, I think I'm gonna have just like a whole section in my booth of all of the false graph Yorktown. I had quite a few things from it that sold. So I've, I've been kind of slowly adding more of it once I find it at the thrift store. But then I spotted this across the thrift store. It was this whole stack of these Corel plates. Dishes like this uh, match a lot of the Pyrex patterns because the Corel dishes are kind of like pre-Pyrex. Um, but this top gravy boat is actually a Pyrex gravy boat. And that's what caught my eye. It was half off. So I did not pay $24.99 for all of this, but I am going to stick this set in my booth. I briefly looked up comps and it looks like the gravy boat alone will get me my money back plus some. So I'm excited to like add this to the booth. This is so heavy. <laughs> 
And then the last home decor item I picked up were these two soap dispensers. I've been looking for some for our kitchen, like for just by the sink. So I thought that these colors were cute and I liked the design of them. Um, I did pay $3 a piece. Yellow was not half off. So if these are from the dollar store, don't tell me. I don't want to know because I paid $3 a piece. I did pick up a few sweaters this time. I went to two thrift stores and I wasn't really finding a lot of pants at the second one. So I started to look at the sweaters and stuff. And I did pick up this one um, at this store. All of the tags except for the yellow ones were half off. Um, so I did pick up this sweater. I think it's just, this might just be like a fast fashion brand. It's called Miss Sumi. I haven't looked it up yet, but I did grab this based on the style because it's giving like Taylor Swift Argyle sweater. And I think this will do well on Poshmark. I will update if it does. This is like a complete gamble, but we'll find out. <laughs> this was actually half off. I liked the style of this Fabletics jacket. It's in really good condition. Um, and it still had the pull tag on the inside. I like the color a lot, so I did end up grabbing this one. I also grabbed this Peloton Spiritual Gangster collab top. I really liked the purple. And this Lululemon bra that was half off. I did not pay $14.99 for this. Um, seven something was probably pretty steep, but I liked the polka dots a lot. I think the rest of the stuff is from the second thrift store where everything except for the red tags was half off. So I did pay full price for these Viore sweatpants, but I always talk about this brand. I think I just talked about it in my last YouTube video. It always sells, I'm trying to look for the label so I can show it to you, Viore. It always sells super fast for me and for like a pretty good price. So I was excited to find these for $3.99. They're super soft and comfy. And then I picked up these Bowden pants, which, I'm pretty picky with this brand, but I did end up grabbing these for the full price because I, it's a different tag than I've seen before. It says like British Tweed by Moon. So I ended up looking these up and they looked like they um, sold for pretty decent prices and I liked the pink. So I ended up grabbing these ones. Then I also grabbed these Sanctuary X Anthropology pants. They're just like a maroon suede legging. These Prana leggings. Again, I liked the color. I'm very drawn, <laughs> very drawn to certain colors. Greens, maroons, purples, what is that, jewel tones? I'm very drawn to jewel tones. The rest are jeans. Whenever I go to this thrift store and like the American Eagle jeans are half off, they're usually only like two to four dollars. So I do end up picking up some American Eagle jeans just as like bread and butter for my Poshmark closet. Um, this is a pair of super high rise jeggings. This is a pair of Everlane jeans. These are the high rise skinny jean. Everlane can be like a little bit of a slower mover for me, but I do still like to pick it up if I can find it for a good price. I actually just recently sold some Everlane shorts. I think I shipped those out yesterday or the day before. I grabbed these, I had another one I don't know how to say, Point Sur, these Point Sur jeans. I think this is sold at J. Crew. please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I actually have a pair of these that I bought a long time ago at the thrift store and like cut up and like I wear them all the time. So I love this brand. They are the 10 inch high tower straight leg jeans. Here's another pair of American Eagle jeans. This is just a pair of jeggings. This is a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch, the ankle straight ultra high rise jeans. I do like to pick up Abercrombie and Fitch jeans, especially their, I think their Curve Love line does the best, but I do like to pick up like ones that look newer and are kind of like more in style. I say, I don't pick up a lot of the like Abercrombie and Fitch skinny jeans or the ones that are like the older style. This seems to be the newer tag, newer ish tag. Um, so I do like to pick up those jeans in like straight leg, wide leg, flare, all of the baggy styles that are in now. <laughs> I found a pair of Adriano Goldschmidt the stilt cigarette leg jeans. You guys already know how I feel about this brand. I always pick it up <laughs> if it's a good price. I rarely pick up Hudson jeans. Um, I think it's one of those that sold a lot a while ago, became oversaturated and like it doesn't sell as well as it did in the past. But I also said that about page jeans recently and I've been testing the waters with those again and I have been like making some page jean sales as one of you commented it. So I was giving it another try and I actually made another sale recently of some page jeans. So Hudson is another one I'm kind of giving another shot. I really liked this style and the price was good and I liked the raw hems on the bottom. This is another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are the high rise Tom girl jeans. 
And then another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are the highest rise flare jeans. I'm excited about this style since flare jeans are coming back. <laughs> then I grabbed these cut from the cloth jeans. These are the Catherine Boyfriend. This is the cut from the cloth tag I will pick up. I don't pick up the older tag. And then I just grabbed this pair of Madewell jeans. This thrift store marks up Madewell pretty high, so I, I am pretty picky with it when I go there, but these are the 10 inch Road Tripper. The last pair is another pair of Adriana Goldschmidt jeans, and these are the Stilt Cigarette Leg. I did pick up a lot of pairs of jeans at these thrift stores it is my favorite thing to go through lately that in active wear um so all of these are going to be listed on poshmark and ebay i think i'm going to wrap up this vlog here we're going to go head out and do some shipping and i'm not sure what else we're doing today i'm going to edit this video so it can go up tomorrow um but that's it so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we are headed to the antique booth tomorrow so i'm probably going to include that in tuesday's vlog so keep an eye out for that but yeah i will see you in the next video do you want to say bye to the vlog what do you want to say bye to the vlog bye yeah like i'm ending it because this was yesterday's. The day just started. But this was yesterday's but vlog. Like, that's not how vlogs work. Do you want to say bye to the vlog? Yeah, go to dealingwithdalton.com and buy my shoe trees. I think you have two promos in this one video. <laughs> bye! We're gonna, no, no, no. Can you please, for this video, yeah. just the entirety of it, mm -hmm. put dealingwithdalton.com on the bottom? Will you give me $100? I will buy you crumble cookies. I was going to say that. I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, say bye. Bye, vlog. <laughs>